good and taken off the glass by Inzi. Well, he posted up McDermott that time, took him to the hole. One thing about that spacing becomes very hard to help on guys in the post. Here's Golden down low, and he has the advantage. Great crowd here at Finneran Pavilion for this Big East showdown between Butler and Villanova. Again, Inzi down low around Swider. Slow starts this season. Down seven against UConn in the first half as Robinson Earl tips it in. Samuel's a 29% shooter, except when there's three minutes to go in the game and they're down. <laughs> then he's, then he's like 100%. <laughs> Baldwin buries a three. And now Moore carries up. We've got almost more air balls than baskets. Bay for three. Robinson Earl for three. Thompson hustling back. Down low, it's a bucket for Cosby Roundtree. Two on the clock and seven seconds on the shot clock. Samuels attacking, Samuels connects. So Samuels shoots 27% from deep and 70% on his two-point field goals as Tucker hits from the outside. Win of the week for the second consecutive week. Contact, no call, Robinson Earl, and the foul. To get out of whack a little bit, they got the ball inside early. You better get this thing up quick. They just do, as Antoine knocked it away. Battle for three, yes! Their first two possessions and have not gone inside since. They Until go inside then. here, Golden for two. I mean, that's where you got... Gillespie's been playing a lot. At least 34 minutes in six of his last seven games as Robinson Earl connects. And Jay about it, what a league. Every night, a battle in the Big East. Eight on the shot clock. Thompson off glass for two. That's in a little, little bit of pain with that left shoulder, but able to stay out there with seven minutes to go. More three is good. Earl is here tonight trying to get on the board. And now 0 for 6, Robinson Earl, offensive rebound, out to Bay for 3, it's good! And this is their largest lead of the night. And Andrew, let's, let's understand this, Butler's one of the best defensive rebounding teams in the nation. That was, see, Robinson Earl that time got caught standing. Block. Here comes Kamar Baldwin. Baldwin the lob, Inzi the flush! A lot of contact, those were fouls. You know, the way that, it's a good pass. Thompson to Golden, those two were AAU teammates. And Villanova switching a lot of these screens. Moore will pop that one. Gets the bounce! Samuels launches from deep, it's good! Jermaine Samuels for three. Two minutes to go in the first half. Here's Baldwin. Position, if you're gonna struggle scoring in the half court, maybe you catch them backpedaling and you get something going to the basket. That wasn't a bad, it was a bad shot. That's a good shot. Yeah. Only the third time all season, Butler has trailed at the half and they lost the previous two. Let's say this about Butler. They probably were the biggest surprises in the country. They would pick six, that's a good shot by uh, Sadiq Bay. It was on Sadiq Bay. Here oh, is Bay. They went under the screen again. Three and the foul. Especially on the road, it tells you about this conference. There are no gimmies. I know we say that a lot, but this year there's no gimmies. Yeah, then he comes in, he's a different guy. Certainly that's what Butler's hoping for. They need him as Baldwin hits for two more. Yeah, he's been struggling with that all night. Tucker exploding to the hoop for two. Tough shot, Jordan Tucker. And has put up big numbers in league play, averaging 12 points and six rebounds per game. That's best me. Easy to the hole. That Golden straightaway three is good. Gillespie wide open is Robinson Earl. Right that he's sitting this long. I thought he would get a break because he needed a break. Thompson able to get to the hole for two. Might have been the best thing they could do. Yeah, they had success going yeah. in there. Samuels goes in there and lays it in. And now McDermott comes off the bench, set to check in next whistle. Golden off glass and the foul. He's been on camera more than John Ralston. Good cut by Baldwin there. And he scores into double figures with 11. That was Baldwin guarded by Bay. 
Baldwin, all sorts of moves. Now over Bay. Wow. Tough Jeez. shot. For guys, and he starts foot faking, and Butler not falling for it now. Baldwin feeling it. Two more. And Jay Wright calls timeout. Butler has outscored Villanova 19 to 6. And it's been kind of, it hasn't been like a, a run fast. Yep, this is what this guy does. Gillespie and the foul. Are they going to help on this? Doesn't look that way. Here's more. Deep three is good. Each time in 18 games, he's led Villanova in rebounds. Meanwhile, Butler last six possessions. They're 0 for 5. And Enzi puts an end to that. Moore bounces it to Samuels, who gets the roll. Most experienced roster in the country. Samuels found himself alone. You know Great steal by Baldwin. Pick Gillespie's pocket. Moore this kid's gonna be and scoring. Pretty from Justin Moore. Inzi around Robinson Earl. But if Villanova holds on, they'll be 30 and 1 against the Big East in this building since 2013. That's pretty good home court. And yeah, I bet. <laughs> Little, I always preferred playing in here than playing downtown, sure. believe me. Battle misses McDermott finally has his first bucket of the night. Gillespie all the way. Tucker for three. With 3.8 to go. And Villanova wins its fifth straight game. Wildcats go to 5-1 in the Big East and 15-3 and overall.